I love Psalm 20. May the Lord answer us in times of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect us. May he send us help from his shrine and give us support from Zion. May he remember all our offerings and receive our sacrifices with favor. May he give us our heart's desire and fulfill every one of our plans. May we ring out our joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of God. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to those who he anoints. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we, in the name of the Lord, they will collapse and fall but we shall stand firm. Lord, give answer on the day we call. So we pray. Lord, you accepted the perfect sacrifice of your Son upon the cross. Hear us during times of trouble and protect us by the power of his name that we who share his struggle on earth may merit a share in his victory. Amen. Amen. Today is Wednesday, it's the 9th of March. Thanks so much for joining us on this program, The Early Rise. I'll later be joined by the Honorable Pernell Charles Sr. He's co-host of this program, you know. We come together because we're two very different people, united in the love of this nation and the commitment to public service. So we infuse that spirit into all we say, into that wonderful array of songs that Audley puts on for us to spice up and to give meaning and to rivet the sense of what we're trying to achieve on this program. It's the last one for a particular period of time because, you know, Daylight Savings Time comes on Sunday and this program is particularly directed to those in the diaspora all over the world who have a different time zone than we do. But we're going to spice it up with doing podcasts of early rise and of course there'll be a blend between the live programs when the time changes once again so always always stay with the bridge it's a new venture in media uh, the few months that it has been in existence proves its purpose to reach out to jamaicans anywhere and everywhere and you know it's infectious the spirit of jamaicanism is not just for those who born here but gone there, gone, gone there. But rather for people who have been here or have heard about us or have listened to the music or have eaten the food and understand there's a particular spice, there's a particular integrity, there's a particular joy of living. And we prize that and give thanks for it and want to cultivate it and prevent it being deteriorated in any way, particularly when we compare what's happening in the rest of the world, you know. I am so saddened by the events in Ukraine. Who isn't? Which person of any goodwill is not? The particular cruelty to the aged and to the children. Yeah. This morning I was hearing about the hundreds, maybe thousands of children who are in state care in Ukraine. Yes, orphanages, uh, children's homes, and who now have to flee. And they're being separated. They don't have nobody to go with them. There was that picture of a little boy dressed up in all of his winter and wandering crying over the border into Poland no separated from his family yeah what for what for what cause is at stake here how that could be how can you possibly justify this yeah what kind of political system what kind of ideological fixation what kind of religious sentiment if you can even noble it by that word uh, can cause you to do that to human persons you must you must you must defend liberty you must uplift life human life especially because it's god's supreme creation but life generally the life of animals creatures the earth itself that's what we stand for on the bridge that's what we in jamaica must incarnate stop all this foolishness of inequality and throw a bone to a dog yeah what we want is a system where everybody can flourish. That don't mean that you can be rich and famous. That no, that no count. Yes, that is that is Babylon thinking. But at least you can find tea for your picnic, send them to school, yeah, put on a little Sunday dinner, take care of your your your, your spouse, your wife, your husband, mind the old people, and care for your neighbor. And that we want, yeah, to share a lovely spirit used to exist more in Jamaica. Still the day, you know, still the day. But some people mash it up. 
All right. We're going to view the 2022-2023 budget according to those simple principles this morning. Philip, um, I'm so sorry, Philip Paul will be on later uh, on the public eye. And this morning, Ralston Hammond, the noted economist and financial analyst, will join us to give us his assessment of the of the the budget presented by Minister Nigel Clark yesterday. All right, let me just tell you, I was disappointed because uh, I don't see anything in it that is going to really motivate our people and make us surge out of the depression of COVID and the. The, even the pre-COVID times where it wasn't pretty for most of our people, you know. But there are f- a few things that we can discuss and decide whether it's the best we can do. But, you know, <laughs> let, me, let me challenge you. Let me really challenge you on the early rise. Because in the morning, you, you, your mind clear, you think. Uh, uh, w- w- when you look at the majority of the Jamaican people, those dying to leave out and go somewhere else like some of our listeners have done this morning, just because they can do a little better, whatever it takes, whoever them have to leave. Where's the prospect that on our land, in our time, those people are going to really be able to, to, to work? Yeah, you notice where I start? I don't start with eat a food, you know. I start with work. Yeah. And then do something for themselves. Feel that Life is a purpose for life, and you don't have to depend upon anybody. Yes? Right. When when we're going to reach there? What's the plan? You, t- you tell me what the, what the other side don't do, and everybody clap you and say, oh, boy, a score. Yeah? It's not a football game. <laughs> it's a life. And even football game, not go so. Right? So no matter with that. Sure. Mm? And when you're bright, you're supposed to think clearer, you know. Yeah, and you're supposed to lead people in a way that's going to help them rather than going, what, what's a lovely word that we use in Jamaica? Lamps them up. Lamps? You know, you hear that so much anymore. Lamps mean fool you up. Tell you something, fool, give something for fool on to you while you're gone down the road or gone upstairs and them, them still a, 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 a deal with dirty tough. You know, like that. Anyway, this is the early rise on the bridge. Not a mean bone in our body, in our station's DNA. Generosity of spirit is what we defend. Call us on the studio line, 876-676-4996. And the WhatsApp and text line is 876-551-5782. Okay, 16 minutes after 5 o'clock. A, A. You see we're getting a new money? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that, that you have to talk about. I ask one question. Let me speak in proper English. Yes, when you done print, when you have printed the new money, when you have the two thousand dollar bill, convenient, of course. When you have that, how much more it got? It took a value. Yeah, how much more sugar it can buy? How much more light it can it can light bill it can pay? So we all, what is all of that for? <laughs> yeah? Yes. So, so as, as one person with tongue-in-cheek said recently, you soon go have a hundred dollar coin. Not a bills anymore, you know, Richie. <laughs> yeah. I remember when, when twenty dollar was a big note, you know. Yes? A big note. The, uh, the Observer cartoon this morning, apparently is right, you know, we ought, we ought, we ought to summarize the, new, the headlines of the newspapers for our overseas listeners. But the, uh, the Observer cartoon this morning is interesting because it goes back to the, remember, the, some of us who are older remember the Butch Stewart Initiative, when Butch uh, put in some money and s- said, okay, can we hold the dollar at, oh God, at 22 to 1. 22? To one, yeah, oh, child, a young boy, no, I remember. <laughs> 22 to one, <laughs> yes, yes, 22 to one. And the, at the time, the opposition, JLP, said, no, can't hold. Well, story come to bump. 154, gone as high as 157, I believe, one time. And <laughs> you, poor Bank of Jamaica, hold it down like, like a bucking horse. <laughs> no. 
no, no, mule or donkey, Jamaicans more used to. No, no, we have plenty of horses that came on us. Yeah, can barely hold it. Yeah, 157, yes, in, this, in, the, life, in the lifespan of one man. How that go? So you see, you could have printed all the money and put all the pretty picture on it. That and a unity. Yeah, putting Manly and Siaga together, no uni that, that and a unity. Hmm? That are pretty, pretty. Hello, there's a difference between substance and poppy show, you know, gentlemen, ladies. Yeah? I'm not a, a, a mindless of symbolism. Eh? Not, not at all. But we want something more substantial than that. We want the money to buy more of what we need. We want a little $9,000 of, of, of minimum wage. <clears throat> No, say we're not thankful for that, you know. But we want that to buy a little more of what we need so we can eat a little better so that we don't get non communicable disease and then you tell us a, a, a fever fault why we're sick. Hmm? What? More equity in this country. Yeah, so all, all of the big, big man also, yes, great budget, lovely. How the poor man uh, manage? How you, you have to go, you abroad, you have to go full, full up an next barrel and send an next remittance. So ask you, please, you know, do that. Because if you don't have that now, Jamaica salt for the majority of our people. Yeah, that's the truth, you know. Yes. So we, 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 we're not vexed, but we disappoint. Yeah. Anyway. That's thing. Other things on the new, the front of the newspaper of the Gleaner this morning is this stupidness of going re trafigura. Yeah. How that work? Where everybody's getting up and saying, all those who are supposed to be witness, called as witnesses of this donation that was made 16 years ago by the uh, Dutch government to the People's National Party election campaign. And they're saying they don't know anything about it. Yes? And you have the, the, the unkindness to former Prime Minister, Portia Simpson Miller. She's not well. Yeah? But you, you have to go, you, you have, she have to turn up with doctor's certificate or, and, and they have to have special hearing to prove why she can't give evidence. Really? And that you do for an elderly person who isn't well. Everybody is aware of that. It can happen to anybody. But you have to prove your sickness before you can be excused from giving the evidence. What is that? Hmm? A, a sober course? A sober course? And believe me, whoever it was, whichever party, when in age take you and sickness uh, afflict you, yeah? You don't worry about whether you're green or orange, you know. We, we, our, our practice is to take time with each other. If you respect the age, that's one commandment of God, one ten commandment. <laughs> Nigel, hello. It's not Moses give the Ten Commandments, you know. It's God give the Ten Commandments. You make mistake in the printing. Yesterday, yesterday, Nigel said we don't know Moses' face, but he gave the Ten Commandments. Oh, he, it's not Moses' Ten Commandments, Nigel. It's God's commandment. Moses was just a messenger, right? Aha. Uh -huh. And we don't... <clears throat> All right, I won't go any further on that one. Ciao. Um, <laughs> all these stupid people, a clap on bounce desk... <laughs> with his foolishness. Anyway, all right, all right. But so traffic guru is on the front page of the paper as well. Um, that we don't know. Just talk it now. It's, I don't know the answer. Nobody has ever told me anything, but isn't it fairly obvious that this con company wanted to continue its relations with, with Jamaica at the time, thought that it was, was appropriate to assist it in being re-elected. It takes money to do that. So they put up some money. So why we don't just, if, if, if it is so, it go. Come and just say it and done, no? And if it not go so, send say how it go. But this I don't know and I can't recall. Oh my goodness. My dear departed friend, schoolmate, Dwight Nelson. Remember the Manhattan inquiry? How, 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 how he was embarrassed by what he, he was forced to say? Hmm? He must regret that now in the afterlife. So what are we going to do, do this again now? Who is fooling who? Come we've done it. Yeah, and there's the stories in the press today, as in many uh, editions, of the people who are really trying hard, volunteering, helping children. That's lovely, you know. Okay? Those are, that's the, those are the bright 
uh, green shoots that one sees in the press. And then there, yesterday, I wonder if you heard uh, British Nation Abroad, there was a horrible fire on Linders Road. 20, 20 people are are without home, without resources. When you see your life just gone like that, you know? Yeah. Sad as that is, there are two things that strike me. One, when people face that tragedy, we are not so poor that we cannot find some resources to help those people set up again. And that is a sign of our care for each other, especially those in distress. There is no nobility in the country. If we can dance and prance and spend holy per money, revive this ed entertainment, all of that, or all of the, the hedonism that we take up on, upon ourselves. But when people are in real distress, when you burn out, you have nothing, all your life arrangements gone, you must can get some help. I know you know. I used to be representative of people, who, of areas that was the fire capital of Jamaica, I used to call it. And very often there wasn't very much help. Thank God for those who did stretch out, but not many. Thank God for a group like Food for the Poor. Man, they are the Ministry of Social Welfare in Jamaica, you know. No offense, man, Carl, but under you, you don't have what them have. Yeah, that's a pity, you know. And the second thing is that while nature and accident and, and <clears throat> sometimes negligence can cause, cause things like a fire um, in this way, compare it with something which is not natural, which is not accidental, but this intentional destruction of human lives going on in Ukraine. And it's not only Ukraine. That is just an extreme, egregious, appalling example of something that happens <clears throat> elsewhere, happens in our land to a different extent, has happened even worse than it is now where we've destroyed communities because they them not defend this party or that flag. Right? We know you know. Okay? So we don't need to live that way. We need to take this now and learn a lesson and teach a picnic them. That, and also it go, teach a picnic that when something, they must live in a way that is respectful of other people's lives. <clears throat> other people's property, that they must seek the best for themselves by seeking the best for others. And also that when something happens, we must respond as fulsomely and quickly as possible. And not just say sorry and move on with our pleasure. It can't work that way. You can't build a community like that. Don't want to use words like progress or prosperity when you're talking them kind of, of arms hosting. And so... We look upon what is happening abroad, and you know, and we 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 kind of we, we kind of notice it, and we, we we say no, no, this is bad. And although our place small, may I look for our prime minister now and our leader of the opposition, all who have talked, yeah, to 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 really every day say to Jamaica, listen, you see what you see what what wrong thinking, what false presumptions can lead to, people have their lives turned upside down. Old people looking a little peace for the end of their days, have to go get up now, left everything that they have, and walk to a next country where they're nobody, yeah? And, and, and beg a bread, because you did want to have control over for them land. Yeah, that, that you have to do. And if them stay, you have to boom them. You're going to shell them, even with them a walk and go away. And you say them can make an escape. All right, you, you allow them little. Same time, you, you, you boom them. What kind of no animal not deal with, with, with them kind like that, you know? And human being with all of the, the, the advances of humanity and of science that we say we have, we are unable to do better. Come now. Come now. Yeah. So... To go back to the word before we take the, the break at 5.30, I am uh, anxious that we give support for all of the progressive things that the budget and the government are trying to do. But I haven't seen or heard anything yet that is going to motivate the people of Jamaica to come out of their, their slough of, of distress, dependency, lack of food. Hmm? What is the extra going into the schools now to remediate the problems? The teachers are telling you, you know, the principals are telling you, hmm? and, and you're saying, it's, oh, it's not so bad. What is that? It's supposed to be very good. Not so bad. What is that? 
4%, 5% of your teachers are migrating every year. This is the Minister of Education last night. Yes, okay, maybe you can find another 5% you will who will take their place. But the truth of the matter is that isn't the issue. The issue is, the principal of, of Central High said it on the television, you know, that your most experienced and qualified teachers are the ones who are going. So you can, you can, you can find the, the warm bodies, but you don't have the quality. And if you don't speak to that, if you don't admit it, and if you don't come together with everybody else, not, not the mouthwater unity that <laughs> on, the, on the money face that was talked about yesterday, but the real common cause, yes? Deal with a serious problem that I go kill all of we. Because when they pick the learner, learner at school because the teacher gone, yeah? They may not notice w w what lane you come from and what community you, you, you're there. Under that? So come, let us be clear, let us be uh, firm in our views. Let us be, be steadfast in our principles for uplifting the better life for all of our people. Yeah. This is the early rise on the bridge, 99 FM. Soon come back here. This is the early rise on the bridge. The Duke and the Duchess are coming. Yes. Okay. Well, what do you think about that? A bridge nation. Tell me, Anna. Uh, you know, Mr. Mr. William, the, the Queen grandson, um, and his, his wife. His wife is pretty and have lovely looking little children. Yeah. Just like we have lovely little, little children all over Jamaica. Not, God don't create ugly, you know. Hey, just so under, understand that. So now, <clears throat> William and Miss they call her Kate, which is named Catherine, they are coming to Jamaica. Hello. We welcome them. We welcome them like how we welcome all people, nice people who come to Jamaica to enjoy the place. But, <laughs> you know, um, just come and be ordinary and enjoy the people and enjoy the place. But don't really, you're not king of Jamaica here, sir. <laughs> you're not going to be king of Jamaica. <laughs> so, so no come with that. Um, I remember when, what, what was name? Harry. Harry came. Harry's a Irish cat, you know, a nice guy. And he didn't have any pretensions. You know, you know, this prince thing too much. Uh, why don't we just... Hug up each other as equals, eh? Whether you're a man or you're a woman or you're black or you're white or just just move beyond all of them thing now. And <clears throat> we respect Mr. Prince, Mr. William's grandmother. We really respect her because she, <clears throat> her life was very hard. She had plenty, plenty of money, you know, but I don't mean her life not hard. And she had plenty of sadness too. Yes, she don't want her picnic be like how some of them carry on. Yeah, what the one they want, Andrew? Mm. and find himself in a court and tie up with, with young girl and all that foolishness yes if you're if, if you say you're a big person you mustn't do them thing yeah you must set example you see so like oh no she he's coming um we're just going to welcome them but <clears throat> they can find a nice place to to stay and so on but at the same time to tell you the honest truth, this notion that we must bow and square and kochi, we're not going to do that. We're really not going to do that. So, not because we, we vex with the royalty. I've read carefully the book by um, Professor Beckles about how Europe and its colonialism uh, 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 underdeveloped Jamaica, the need for reparations and all of that. But the uh, we, we find ourselves in a situation where we welcome all our guests, but we are an independent people, we are a proud people, and we are proud and, being proud and humble as possible, you know, to, at the same time. Um, so when they come, no, no, we don't have to line up on anything. We just tell them hi and please enjoy the, your stay. How about that? Yeah, because we're friendly people, we're decent people, decent to one another. And we're not into too much of this class business anymore. Yeah? That's good. Hello, Mr. Charles. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Don't, don't we need that strength? Yes, we do. When you look across the world. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, as as yeah. the latest this morning, that there's going to be a, a cease ceasefire just to, to allow, allow the people to move <laughs> so that they can take over. I don't know. 
how 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 that really play out in a yeah a, a settlement or an honest no it isn't it may save some lives well and some property but yeah but it's 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 so tragic and you know while we <coughs> while we mourn that i give thanks that we in jamaica don't treat our people so coarse you know thank god we have a different sense. We've done it. We've, we've had, we've had terrible resettlements and people rooted out of their homes, um, in the past. But uh, we, we, I, I hope we are way beyond that now. And we, with all of the problems that we have, we we value our shared humanity more than is evident, much more than is evident in Ukraine, which is supposed to be a developed country. Oh my! Yeah, but we have element of it within our system, you know. Yes. Yeah. And and yeah. and if you, it spreads, I can't deny it. If if it spreads, it yeah. it would be no different. No, and, and and all over the world. But that is what government has to do. Government has to show they can govern in time of crisis. Mm -hmm. But I'm going. I, I'm agreeing with you, and I'm asking you. So we we have to ask ourselves and our listeners a deeper question: What is in the heart of man? That makes us so insensitive to our brothers' uh, distress. No, no, no. But then look at this one. Uh, it's not that there's somebody fighting you. Yeah. It's that you're, you are fighting to go in and you deliberately destroy... Yes. Destroy. Uh, and, and, and life, life and property. property. Upend people in ways that they will never recover. And, and, and we're, we're supposed to, to, to find some legitimacy in that. That is the height of evil. And we are waiting to hear mm -hmm. some international organization yeah. say... What, how much econo of the economy, yeah. the value of what has been lost, yeah. and another, let me tell you, how many lives have been lost, yeah. how many people have been uh, injured. Yeah. And, but you see, you blow up a hospital. Yeah. All who were in there. Yes. Can't help themselves. Can't help themselves. You know, and, and b b those, who, those who can't those help who them help themselves have to run away have if to run they survive. Away. Exactly. And, and doctors and nurses in short supply, people who are dedicated to assist others, they become as much victims as their patients. For what? Uh, this, uh, well, Oi, we're supposed I, I, to denounce I, war. No, I've heard of wars before, but mm. it's when you have people, two people fighting. Yeah. They're, they're, you know? Well, we've had world wars, but for God's sake, um, what does what does living in the twenty first century, with all of the advancements that 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 in uh, that enhanced life mean? What what does what what's, what is the significance of all of that if your own kind is being decimated in the way that is taking place there, or in lesser ways? But yes? I, I but I asked you the mm. other day, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of these international organizations? Yes. The Security Councils, mm -hmm. the United Nations, where all the nations of the world meet yeah. and take decision, uh -huh. and they have taken a decision on this. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything to one. No. And 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 so you can say, say what you want for poor Mr. Biden. Yeah. He's you know, he's trying hard against himself within his own con his own country. Yeah. His colleagues in other countries. Yeah. And, and, and the world. Well, you know, I, I was pleased yesterday, given all of our cultural context, that when Mr. Zelensky addressed the, the, the British Parliament, yes. he got a united response yes. of, of, of approval. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure that they're prepared to give him what he says he needs in order to win the struggle. Yes. But at least there was no division about it and that that <clears throat> that that is a small but very significant gesture and there was another european country that he addressed i think i don't know if it was germany uh -huh. or one of them but <laughs> they are saying look the, our lives are in their hands too yeah germany is yeah, saying germany is 40 percent of their energy comes from russia yeah exactly well and you know it takes us back to our own situation where we must try as far as possible to become more energy sufficient a because we can't afford the the the, the oil um that that we've become dependent upon and secondly because we don't really want to be pawns of anybody anymore whether it is Bakramasa, whether it is Busha, whether it is Mrs. Queen, or whether it is the 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 guy who is pushing the prices of or or essential products, you know. Yes. I really have a vision of equality, you know, Mr. Charles, that I think I share with you. We we we, we must not take unnecessary inequality for granted 
as, as being something that is kind of preordained. We can't do that. We, oh. are, we are too bright for that. We're too blessed for that. Yeah, we, 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 we're, we're a Christian country, Christian presumptions, and we believe in one who came and died for all, not for some, not for one class of people, one color people, not for one party. Well, you know what this has shown me to you know, running, uh -huh. is that people, when you, when you remove the property, mm -hmm. the economy, people are people. <clears throat> yes. And they are counted as people when they did. Yeah. <laughs> no, and so so many lives have been lost. Mm -hmm. I am sure that lives from up, middle and bottom. Yeah. Or in that. Yeah. Even <clears throat> hospital. Yes. Right? So, so you so, know. So I'm really anxious that we learn lessons and as as remote as we are from Central Europe. Well I don't know if we're so remote. We're not very far <laughs> because based based on what I heard yesterday from the man who you advised in his presentation. <laughs> Don't take my advice. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> he took your advice because I, I heard him declare that I've been instructed. That there should be no taxation. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no, there's a difference between advice and generalship. <laughs> well, well, no, no. I heard somebody ask him, you know, if you were generaling, generaling him. <laughs> well, you can, yeah, let, let, let that same person judge. The, 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 who the, is the general? The president. Minister, the finance minister says there are no taxes, but he's going to get much, much, much more money without raising the taxes. How that go? Uh, well, he, he, <laughs> well, Ronnie, so I tell you what I, I told, I tell you what I told you before about this man. Yeah, um, that's brilliant. You don't, uh, you don't announce any taxes. You get a whole heap of big up for that. But in fact, you, 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 you take more money out of our pocket because every time the gas price, the oil raises up and the gas and the electricity go yeah, on, you, you make running, more money. Running, running, running. So, so, so running. thank you very much. Give up one, no man. Give up who? Give up one. The G oil price comes all the way from Russia. And we add to it. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't add to it. Of course we do, sir. Nearly 50% of, the, of, of, of whatever based in oil is tax. But you are giving back billions to those who you feel should get it. Sir. Something, something is being done. Okay. Don't yeah, take the one item. No, take some other I'm willing, item. you know, and I'm, le let me tell you, when you announce that you're going to provide some assistance for school children, for yes. transport, yes. which it, he says is a possibility. You said, you said that yesterday morning. Oh, man, I'm so in favor of that. Yes. But then when I work it out, yes, when I know the number of children on path and the number of children supposed to be on path yes. and, the and the people beyond the children who are in need, they can't manage a bus fare. Now that's a large portion, you know. But it's $2,000 each you get them. Yes, but Ronnie, oh, God. When, you, when, you multi when you multiply that uh -huh. by the quantity, uh -huh. It's a lot, you know. It's two, the two billion dollars works out to, if you take a million people, one third of our population, needing that kind of assistance, children and is unemployed. It one, and so, is it one third it, of our population? Oh, easily, easily. Yeah. Oh, you mean the the past children and the, the, the people who and who the need social? It. Yes, those yeah. who are at the bottom of the line. Yeah. It's two thousand dollars each. Yes. No, listen to me. I believe that you must always be grateful for anything. For but, small mercies. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. It's not him giving it to us, you know. It's our money. Well, money. But even so, we're glad for it. But, but, the two but, the, but two let us deal oh, with that. Have mercy. There are a lot of... That, that are what you lot, could do? There are a lot of governance. Well, you say we, could, we must make the banks do what they want because it's a matter of no, principle. No, hey, no, no. Oh, it naturally give, lost give, me. You're a banker. Give, give the due to those who should get it. And I think this young man, not only because he went to the same school with you, <laughs> <laughs> and is very brilliant, oh. he's one of the finance ministers that I have a lot of respect for. I listened to on three occasions now, and I learned from his presentation, many in the field of economics and, and, and social and other areas. <coughs> I think he's trying. I think... Um, are, the, are the people of North Clarendon better off this morning? Some. Lord have mercy. No, no, but all over Jamaica, they could have been worse. But put it this way. Oh, Lord. Suppose they had put on a, 50, uh, uh, a major tax package. Well... But you don't need to so do that. Moves, you, you, GC to, to, to 20%. No, but you don't need to do that if you're getting the money without doing it. 
We, you, the, you, what, the point I'm making as we break is, but we come back and discuss it, you know, Ras and Hammond is joining us later. But Pernell, the mo- it, we in fact are going to be paying more in tax because of the price of oil, not because the tax rate but it is has not, raised. But it is not you the, who have made the price of oil no, what it is. No, but it, it's, it's, and, and it, the price it's, of oil is not going to save you. But it's still out of my pocket. Do you understand that the price of oil can't come down tomorrow? <laughs> In life. Boy, when we come back from the break, let the Honorable Colonel Charles tell me when we have had a sustainable reduction in, in fuel prices or electricity rates. This is the early rise on the Bridge 99. Time for the government's word. So, Mr. Charles, you, you, you in your time have been considered to be very radical. I hope that you will be able to transmit that sense of earthy radicalism to your, uh, to your colleagues who are in government now. Yeah, but Ronnie, like you, yes. we are appreciative of the work that has been done by our early generation. But we are saying that changes have to come with new generation, with new ideas, and with new problems. Yes. We can't live with this on the same road. Yes. In other words... And I, what I heard yesterday from the Minister of Finance was, um, uh, uh, was brushing up on the same old road. Well, uh, maybe he can't cut a new road, but at least <coughs> he was cleaning some of the roads. <laughs> Huh? Hear that from the former minister of local government, <laughs> yeah, but, but, former uh, councillor Charles. But you see, because mm-hmm, Ronnie, mm-hmm. and, and that's uh, you make it it's, as a joke. Mm. But remember, you know, mm-hmm. Christmas in the rural areas mm-hmm. was when we broke stone. Yes, parents broke stone. Mm-hmm. Husband <clears throat> threw the stone. Mm-hmm. Children get a chance to spread the stone mm-hmm. until the parish council man come. But that, of, you know, if if I have an image of you mm. as a minister of government, you one of the one of your stellar achievements was the Brockstone uh, thing. You know, you know why? Because what it did was to take people as they are and give them an opportunity to earn something so that they can better themselves. Suppose we were to take that philosophy and expand it into every aspect of life. Yes? What a good thing that would be. And I, 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 must say, <laughs> I must say, you were there when I was called by the Prime Minister. Yes. So if you, you saw the demonstration of Mr. Manley and Mr. Uh-huh. Simpson out in the mm-hmm. country, mm-hmm. and Mr. Manley made a public declaration. Mm-hmm. Him don't want to pass no road mm-hmm. and see no woman on top of no mm-hmm. rock stone that mm-hmm. they can look upon them. Uh-huh. And... Well, so I, don't mean, I don't want my government to be called no Brookstone government. Well, Stop see, it. Yeah, you see, that is... Oh, People yeah. cried. Yes. That the first they were making a making money. Making a money. And they don't have... It's not... It, of course... It's and then we have to teach. Father co- throat stone, mother broke it. Yes. Pick the throat it. out, and I get that money. It will hold on now. And it, I hold on, that's what it. Yes. I, Mr. Manley <clears> asked me before he died. Yes. We he said, that. Pernal, uh-huh. what the hell caused you uh-huh. to make women a Brookstone? uh uh-huh. And when I told him yes. how my Christmas money used, used to, to come, come. Yes. and how rural people uh, used to make a money when the parish councilman uh, come to check yes, it, sir. he said, Colonel, <clears throat> had I known, I would never yeah. oh, no, demonstrate it again. Look at that, look at that nugget of but his history. But I never had that experience. No. And, and that is why Michael Manley... Yeah. Have a little spot. <laughs> you have a big spot for him. You're, you're much closer <laughs> ideologically to him than, than to well, certain other people. Well, you call I know it that. Ideology. Yes, of course. But, but, and, we but wanted it's, change. It's, it's a humanism. Yeah, I, sure. That's a better word. Yes, to me. well, it's, it's we're, a, we're afraid for the, the, the words that put us <laughs> no, in certain things, but no. the facts are there. Yeah. Now, that, to me, I, I'm asking myself no matter what, how humble the work is, yes? Yeah. How humble the work is. What I was hoping to hear is a program that's going to get people, m- m- more people working, more people independent. Yes? Don't tell me about big banks and, and, and their integrity. But, but what is that? I presume that. And, but, but I, and I'm disappointed because a bank which, 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 which elevates their profits by digging out my little savings account and paying me negative interest rates, that is not integrity. That is advantage-taking. 
and, 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 and the Minister of Finance, a man of brilliance, you agree, yes? yes. And a good person, yes. to the best of my knowledge. He may go defend that? Well, he and, 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 and 40, 49 other, other people of the same political persuasion are clapping and say, score big! No, sir. Yes, all right. Well, <laughs> I'm going to take a look in that and come back. Right? Okay. And I'm challenging you on that. No. I haven't seen that part yet. Okay, so tell so me. Tell I, me. I put you on hold. Okay, sir. And I'm <laughs> accepting you. <laughs> and uh, but tell me about the, the new money now, Mr. Charles. Because it's, uh, all, it's all you pictures should I get in there, you know? It's a philosophy that, that, that some people will clap. Uh -huh. and some, of, some people like me and you uh -huh. would, would see the, the, maybe the politics of it. Mm -hmm. um, the philosophy of unity mm -hmm. that he's presenting. <laughs> one, one, as a churchman, you can't object to that. No, but except that it's superficial and it don't reach a $5,000 bill. <laughs> it don't, no, no, because the 5000 <laughs> <laughs> the five thousand dollar be high up. <laughs> no, I, I, you're waiting for somebody else to go to something. <laughs> you can't, you can't cover everything and leave us out. You know, let me tell you, as <laughs> as much as as much as the <clears throat> the, the, the honourable Donald Sangster was a person whose straightforwardness, yes. I remember, yes, and I honoured, yes, yes I, I respected him. Yes, me would I prefer if if and le, no, le, let me let me let me be really really outrageous now. What I knew, and you knew him better, with the right honourable Hugh Lawson Shearer. Yes, he would have, he, although he and Donald were good friends. Yes, he would have preferred a Porsche picture beside him. Dip on the money. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, Bridge sir. Nation, sir. tell me if that's not true. Who is who is beside him? Who is beside him? Sangster, Sangster and Shearer side by side. Um, Shira yes. would have loved Miss Portia said, hey Richie, no, for, you don't believe for, that for many other reasons so not to misunderstand <laughs> Shira and Portia were real friends yes and therefore, real friends. Yes, and therefore, and so there were, the, in other words, the, the, what, the, what you can't say the same thing for Michael and and and, and Siaga. So if the philosophy was seeking unity, yeah, right? You put you, the left and right, the negative and a positive. Yes. So what you are trying to do is you put two positive together. <laughs> And yeah, it you know, don't work. You are brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, you are absolutely brilliant. <laughs> but the, 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 who, who would have? What would have got into these people's head to think that that is 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 some elixir of? So of, who is uh, he put beside Shira in the five thousand? Donald Sangster. And let me say something to you. <coughs> let me say something. And he gave the reason he gave. Mm -hmm. He gave the reason. He said it because it, the two of them presided over the greatest time of advancement and, and, and growth in Jamaica. True. <laughs> but suppose he's now holding the 10,000 for Porsche. <laughs> you, know, the, you know the comment I made when I saw that? After yeah. all of this new thing and the $2,000 bill, etc. How much more it value? What more it can buy? Well, it's not running. Cha. It's not a bang sometimes, you know. There's a psychology. That's how my father no, asked him. No, Daddy. Daddy. No, Daddy Charles. That, um, my, fa my father has asked me if psychology can you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, but when you, you listen to your father. I know your father. Yeah, but, but the truth is, is the, tr the truth is, don't <laughs> denounce everything. I'm not denouncing anything, everything. But, so. but, but. I'm really so not. I Having a two thousand dollar bill is a convenience. It is a sad convenience because it is only because the, 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 <coughs> the money don't what. But I would love. I would have loved to hear, in in that speech, even a, even a one sentence. How are we going to improve the value of the local currency? Because the local currency is embarrassing, you know, sir. Yeah, but. Ronnie, that is not a Jamaica fault. Uh, no, no, of course it's it a, is. It's a national, oh, it's no, a no, national no, fault. No, no, sir. How, 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 how that comes? If we produce more, our currency will be, will be more. If we were able, you, we don't have to recite this. Yeah, if, okay. we, if we were able to send Steve McDonald and, and Miss, Miss Peart, who we interviewed yesterday, yeah. all of these people, more of what they want from us, the dollar, no, no, would, the no, dollar no, would stand up. In other words, if there was an <coughs> organization or an organized way to produce mm -hmm. things that can be exported. Yes, sir. This is and, and at today's value. Yes. With the, the ten times better. This off. is what your son is trying to do. 
<coughs> look at look at the look at the cartoon in the Observer today. The Observer is a paper that's very friendly with yeah. towards your government, towards our government. And the, 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 what they're doing is looking at at, at, at the Butch Stewart Initiative. Yes. Where the issue was, could the dollar hold at twenty-two to one? Yes. And look what happened. The dollar is one hundred and fifty-five to one. Oh my! Yes. So I want to hear, sir, please, because the, the, the strengthening of the dollar, the improvement of exports, the taking responsibility for our destiny by producing more and by depending less on others. That is the leadership we need. Where do we see that in the budget that we have? Don't talk about the minister's presentation now. Forget that. <coughs> Don't forget him. Put that aside. No, that good presentation. But let us see what is presented. What, 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 what is that going to do? When What I want him to tell us, here is the World Bank, the IDB, the IMF, saying that we are going to re regress into the same 0.9%, 1.5% per annum GDP growth. Yes? And we know that even GDP growth is really not telling us the full story of because that's unequal yes you can have big big gdp growth and the poor get poorer but even using that matrix <coughs> for the time being how are we going to wh where where have we heard the story f f and, and uh, incarnated in how we raise money and spend money because that is the essential thing w hope that we're going to uh, we're, we're going to transcend that kind of 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 pity me little of the past Yes? Well, I'm That's gonna, not what we want. Well, I'm going to make you enjoy uh, yourself this morning. No, not enjoy. I'll well, come back for you later. It's sad, it's sad. We, you will. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're not against. There's, there's no... All right, <clears throat> but, but overall, mm -hmm. overall, you didn't get all that you, uh, you expected or you would like to. But oh. can you say anything about what has been done? Yes. I, I can see. Is there any credit that oh, can... Oh, certainly, certainly. Okay. Anything that we can do to make it easier and less expensive for children to go to school is good. Anything that we can do for <clears> the <throat> family, the parents of children, and others who don't have any children and don't have any economic and financial support, yeah. the rest of us should be happy to extend yeah. a hand of <coughs> kindness we, to no, them. You, you, Not I, only on a Sunday evening, uh -huh. leftover food, yeah. but... Yeah. To, for them to survive. But, but you know, I'm a, I, I try to be a Bible man. I fail miserably. But First Peter it says that chari charity is, is justice always triumphs over charity. So while we, 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 we know that charity is essential, I, w I want a situation where the, the Miss Die Up Your Hill don't mm -hmm. have to depend upon the person, the, Miss, Miss Rita down the road, for her Sunday dinner. She will have something up for her own. Yes, that's that that's 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 the yeah, yeah. dignity and the deserve that we owe to ourselves. That is, as that, people. is the, that is the priest part of you. What <laughs> no. is it? What, what's the other side? The other the, 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 there's no the, we, we're not two sides. There, there's no two sides. No, sir, we're one set of people and we're <laughs> one set of principles. Well, let, no, me no. Tell, let me tell you what's the other side. <laughs> yes. You're not going to have a country. Yeah. Based on what we have seen since all of us have been born and right. we are nearly over 70. The country said set right. wrong. Country set wrong. Country set wrong. From the beginning. From the beginning. And, and we, we know how, that, that is why, again, you don't like the word, but I'm a revolutionary. You, you are in your way too because you. No, you, no, I am a radical. And okay. it means I need, I need change. Yes. Yeah. I need direct change, yeah, hard change, yeah. fast change, the, the, for catching up for those who didn't right. get a start. Exactly. Right? Yes. And they have to run to the end. I could not. I don't that. want, but a big tell little joke. Mm. When I was a boy, mm. they used to have a race at a place called Addison Park in Brownstone. Yes, heard of now, it. Now, I come from Lamb Tree Garden, and mm. all the schools mm -hmm. were supposed to send athletes mm -hmm. to. Uh, participate mm -hmm. in, in, in whatever the day was. Mm -hmm. And I was selected because I'm a good runner. Really? You're a short foot man. I never knew you were well, a yeah, good man. runner. But here the joke. <laughs> so when the man fire off the gun uh -huh. at Addison Park, uh -huh. you know, when this, and the athletes start, the crowd start to run behind them wow. to come up. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't see the runners. <laughs> I'm in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we reach the winning point. Yeah. Right? 
It's me and the crowd. <laughs> so me just disappear in the crowd. So man I says, but Charles, what happened to you? So why then catch up with me? <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, there's a rich symbolism in that. Yes. Because you found But you, I run to the end, you know. Well no I run to the end. So it's two elements of of rich symbolism. One that you run to the end, mm-hmm. you, you never you never falter, which is very important. Yeah, some Pl- that stop, pl- huh? Plenty so of us shame. plenty of us reach pa- halfway and whatever we're doing and yeah. we, and we, we, we well, cross the line, man. Right. And the second thing is that you found yourself in the crowd because that is the story of your life. You've yes. always been within the crowd. I have to. Yes. I have to have a part of Which is good. But, yeah. uh, but <laughs> my, my, never win. man asked me, <laughs> said, what are you doing here? <laughs> You're taking it, Rich. But no, no, but I, I've never heard of that, that when, when the race starts, the crowd follow. Yes. Uh-huh. When, when, when <clears> the, <throat> those days when they run gone mm-hmm. and the crowd run, come up. Mm-hmm. Follow me. Let the crowd catch me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that if that that is a that is a sign of solidarity that you 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 have you have with them. <clears throat> you know, it it's so we 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 are in this. My, my concern is we're going to explore it, let, hear us and Hyman's views in a little while. But we are on the same tracks that we were always before. And I want us to move beyond that. I want to have a dream um, a, 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 that is going to encourage our people not, not to see the gang, the gun, the, the visa, <coughs> the, the, the gateway, the, 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 the advantage taking as being the, the, the way forward in life. I tell you, it's the bank thing that, of Nigel Clark yesterday hurt me most. Yes, because, I, because I hear, what yeah. that does is to give the power, the, the powerful, yes, legitimacy to exercise their unbridled power over me who don't have any power at all. Yeah, but and don't I, he had made a statement <coughs> the other day when he called in the banks mm-hmm. and said that they should not charge. Yeah, but then, know? yeah, but and I, I rated him for that. Yes, but, but then what has he done? No, he's he, no. He, he, he turning back on that. No, he take it, back him chat. I haven't seen that, and I would like. I heard to, it. I, 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 that's why I, I reserve my comment. Yes, sir, and I, ex- and I, I said, respect that. Uh, I, I, I'm not charging, com- not charging I, you for I that. Com- I'm coming back <laughs> on you because I can't see him do something last week mm-hmm. which got some credit yes. from you, yes. which I join in. I yes. keep quiet and make you lead. <laughs> no. You, and you, and you, then you, you come to the mm-hmm. knocking him yes. because of that. So, take so, back him chat, man. No, but, but you check it out. <laughs> I, I, I want to check it out. Yes. But you put the, that on reserve. Yeah, but the key thing, no. Is that f- what I've been hearing yesterday? Is, is some good things. The 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 children are going back to school. Yes. Yes. And th- it, that is a big achievement. Not all are there. Um, minister is right that it will take a week or two to for everybody to rope in. <coughs> yes. Also, um, there there are a couple of schools that I've been watching very carefully because the principal is the principals the headmaster. <coughs> Headmistress, they are very strict about the uniform yes. and the shoes, yes. and they are, they are taking time with the children because plenty of them grow out of the shoes, and the parents don't have the money, yes. and so they wear the slippers, <coughs> yes. and they're not turning them back. Yes. Okay. Also, the 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 although there are big big problems, the children are respectful of some of the protocols yes. that they have learned. I, I have seen that. Yes. And 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 uh, we have major problems because some of them. Are forgotten what it is to be classroom discipline yes. but at least we are facing it and <clears throat> there 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 are signs that we will make progress in that regard that, is, that that's where the rubber hits the road you know yeah, sir. but there's a silent part in me yeah that is nervous uh-huh. give me a week or two mm-hmm. and i hear that we are still down to three point something mm-hmm. we don't have any major population in the, in the school <coughs> for virus, yes. then, you know, sure. I'm, I'm nervous. Y- yeah, but that will balance you if, if, if we don't go that way. Okay. So <coughs> if the teachers are doing, as you have said, mm-hmm. keeping the protocol strong, yeah, man. and the children seem to be participating, mm-hmm. you know, then we should hold it. It's, it's, it's not only Jamaica, it's worldwide that these things seem to be coming down, coming down, coming down. But if it breaks out, then we are back to square one. 
yes. if I was some talking. Okay, but but there are ways. I mean, there have been schools, particularly I've been watching the private schools in Jamaica. Yes. Though they have had to open, otherwise they would go out of business. Oh, yes. Um, and w what they have done is if somebody turns up in a particular class, yes. not feeling well, right. they isolate them right away. They measure, the, the, the <coughs> they measure them. And they put them in the isolation room Absolutely. and they work on and them. If, a, if, if someone... And, sorry, and they also advise the, the parents, Ministry of Health. Yes, and the Ministry. And, and, and they respond. Exactly. Yes. Now, when you do that, you, 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 can, you can be surgical in terms of right. dealing with outbreaks or the, the threat of outbreaks. Rather than close down the whole school. <laughs> well, you know, I've never been involved. I've yes. never been in, in yes. support of closing yes. the whole school. Yes. If we were closing, then we better close for life because it's always going to come. Yes. Whatever the viruses of the past has been, we are still <coughs> having an element of that in today's world. Yes. And right? so, we, we, amidst amidst all of our concerns, <clears throat> we are we're, we're, we're insisting on the early rise this morning, that we support the children going back to school, uh, being encouraged, helped in every single way. Take time with, but make sure they're in classrooms. Eh? And let us make the appeal <coughs> not only to the teachers, right. not only to the parents, but to those who used to help, you know, the district leaders, sure. the counselors, sure. the MPs, yes, yes. <coughs> and, 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 and the... the, the District mothers. Pe people of goodwill. Exactly. Yes. The shopkeepers yes. who sit the boys sit down, sit down upon this. Yes. Upon so this come down, get up, go, go, go put on your shoes, go, go school. school. Go put school. on your who? Shoes. You, oh, you did have shoes. Going I did have shoes, but you never <laughs> had shoes. <laughs> you both out your shoes. This is the early rise on the Bridge 99. We take a break. When we come back, Ralston Hammer, the financial, anal fa financial and analyst, joins us to look at the presentation of uh, the Honorable Nigel Clark, Minister of Finance. People in the diaspora, listen up so that we can understand fully what's happening with our money at home. Soon come. Colonel Charles and myself welcoming Ralston Hammond. Morning, Ralston. Morning, Ronnie. How are you doing? Ralston, I'm fine. Thanks, Ralston Hammond, the producer, the presenter, the conceptualizer of real business on Power 106. Chief Charles, you know Ralston? Uh, I, well, I'm trying to see if I can anticipate <laughs> what Ralston is going to Ralston, Colonel, shaking because... I'm shaking because <laughs> I, heard, I heard one of your colleagues from the university last night yeah. giving the minister... Eight out of ten. Uh -huh. Okay. For his presentation <laughs> and the facts involved, and okay. I said, I don't know. I had to reach it this morning. I can, I can, I don't want to anticipate <clears throat> your figures, but let's go. Well, so what you, what you think of the budget and the presentation so far? Well, I'm to be frank. I thought it was a very long and dramatic exercise in undergraduate theorizing, intellectual bankruptcy, and dishonesty. Whoa. Tell us why now. That's heavy, heavy stuff. Okay. So the minister started by glossing over <clears throat> the international situation. He hasn't said how Jamaica is going to deal with the current situation in the international economy. He hasn't explained why, while he was talking, the price of crude was running at $129 per barrel, but he projected crude oil prices at $67 per barrel for this budget and $60 per barrel out to the budget of 25-26. He also projected an inflation rate of 5% for this budget going out to 25-26, when inflation in Jamaica is running at 9.7%. We expect U.S. inflation to come out at 7.9% tomorrow morning. So the minister has not explained all of the assumptions that the budget is based on. So we believe that the budget is extremely flawed and incredible because the assumptions are not credible. So no matter what he said yesterday, it doesn't make a lot of sense if he doesn't get the assumptions right. He's assuming that crude oil prices will be six or seven dollars per barrel this year. There's no way in the world that you can go and buy crude oil for six or seven dollars per barrel now. And you'll never be able to buy it for sixty dollars the year after and the year after and the year after. There's no way inflation is going to come back down to 5% in Jamaica for this fiscal year. So, right, I'm what you said. 5.4%. What was it? inflation is 5.1%. U.S. own inflation is 5.1%. Yes, Ron. What is it? What is it cost the budget at? What price for oil? 5% 
inflation, six or seven dollars and fifty cents oil prices from now until year twenty twenty six. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And it's not his fault for mm-hmm. oil to move from fifty dollars to one hundred and twenty seven. No, but it's his fault for not for not predicting for not what is right in front of him. Whole, huh? That's that. Go ahead. I'm saying it's it's his it's, it's his fault for not being realistic into what the price is going to be. And that's 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 a problem. We yeah, but, I, but, we but he, he, he cast his budget at, mm-hmm. at what the price is now. No, the price, no, is, the price not. is not now. When he was casting the budget, oil was $90 per barrel. Oil is 129 While he was speaking yesterday, yeah. oil climbed to $129 per barrel. After but, the price, is it, is it, but is it always going to be this way? When you, even when you look back on the best of budgets under both governments, most of what... Uh, was, uh, is, is not what it finally... What Pernod is asking is about if the oil price can go down. Don't it go, go, go down? Nobody that in the world sees oil coming back <coughs> to six or $7 this year. Prior so, to the, 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 the problems in Ukraine, oil was trading at $90 per barrel because OPEC Plus, which includes Russia, incidentally, they say that they are not going to increase their output. They have increased output by 400,000 bars per day in February and March, and they say they are not going to increase output anymore. If you take the Russian supplies off the market, 5 million bars per day, that exacerbates the problem, and that is why oil junk after the Biden announcement about U.S. banning oil imports from Russia yesterday. So the minister is dead wrong. Last year, it did 45 bars per barrel. It came out at 73 bars per barrel. If you miss that, it means that you miss your balance of payments target. You are going to need more foreign exchange in order to buy oil, and that is going to put the dollar under pressure. The minister never told us anything about energy security yesterday. He never corrected that big problem. He never said anything about food security apart from a passing fancy that Mr. Charles is going to be talking about, that there was no budgetary allocation, no changes in the budget to deal with all those problems. So once he gets those assumptions out, it means that the entire budget is flawed. So when people all are another thing, there's a thing about no new taxes. The minister is projected to collect $99 billion in additional revenues. That's 4% of GDP. $237 billion of that is expected to come from the GCP, which is a consumption tax. So if you get the fuel thing wrong, and people have to spend more money to fuel their cars, to pay their light bills, to pay their water bills, they'll have very little disposable income from which you can get that $37 billion. No, hold on a second. Let me understand that, please. Um, <clears throat> what, I, what I have understood, you tell me if I'm wrong, is that the, the tax on fuel, for example, uh, is, is an ad valorem tax. In other words, Sorry. if you're paying, if, 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 you're, if your basic cost is, in, is increasing through no fault of our own, mm-hmm. yes, the, the actual tax take is, is increasing at the same time. <clears throat> So that you don't have to add, you don't have to have a new tax, or what you do is to gain more money because the unit price is 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 increasing. Precisely, that's yeah. one. And it's also expected. And and, to and, and, and and hold that too, because if is as I am <coughs> hoping mm-hmm. that something can happen. Not only that guy and I'm producer. Uh, Nigeria going to produce uh, yeah, the farther. And, and the price goes but, up. But, but there's going to be some way of set, settling off. Mm-hmm. Now, that's what I want you to tell me. If it continues to go forward, where are we going? Where are we going forward? Well, give, give me uh, a prediction as an, uh, as an economist. Well, what we are saying is that when we look at the international situation, most people are expecting oil to end up at between 90 and $100 per barrel, even if the conflict dissipates. So... That's a big gap between what we're projecting for. So we're looking at a few bill at two, two and a half billion US dollars next year if we continue the current trajectory. What's the value no of our merchandise exports? Yeah, there's no strategy to generate the foreign exchange to pay for that. Merchandise exports are still running at one point four billion dollars and imports at four point eight billion for the first nine months of last year. There's it's no strategy to expect to deal with export development and to generate more foreign exchange. And the $2 billion that they're talking about, that would be extremely limited. The vast majority of Jamaicans and the Jamaican economy in general will not benefit from that. Well, I, 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 I very crudely, I suggested that a third of our population need some 
uh, assistance, some relief in terms of the high, higher price for electricity and fuel. And Precisely. If you if you put that at a million dollar, a million people, the what that means is two thousand dollars each. We're going we're going to benefit, which is we're thankful, but that, that that's not a that's carrier. That's not going to work for the economy. That's yeah. not going to work for the economy. So one thing that we also, I personally found very difficult to understand what he was trying to say. Rather than starting off with what is happening internationally and the Ukrainian situation, he darted back to the 1970s and was trying to tell the country that those were the best times in Jamaica and that everything went wrong from 1972. That's also total nonsense. He mis mis totally misrepresented and misinterpreted Michael Manley's up the down escalator because what Michael was saying in up the down escalator is that the international economy is dominated by the imperialist powers, who a lot of times make you believe they are going up when you are going down. So when they are telling him to hit the debt to GDP of 60% by 2728, and he's here, um, pressuring the Jamaican people to hit that target, this is, is basically doing what Michael was talking about in the up the down escalator. You know, that's that. The, 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 uh, there's a fundamental ideological uh, issue here, which Bernal and I have been discussing, Ralston. Um, Nigel Clark, and representing the government, but he personally is 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 he's 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 a market economist. He believes that the market is is somehow the, represents the, the the best uh recourse possible, the will of God, maybe. Um, which is why we're saying it is undergraduate theory. Yeah, rising because all the great economists in the world, <clears throat> Norris, Thomas, the people who are running the US, Jerome Powell, they believe that the market must come under some regulation. It can market doesn't mean a free for all or disorder. And that is why even in his defense of the banking sector, we're saying it's undergraduate theorizing. Nobody is trying to tell the banking sector how to operate. What we're saying to the banking sector, there must be some basic services that the people pay for in the spread that you make. Jamaican banks have the highest spread in the world. So when you claim no Jamaican banks, banks have the highest spread banks. in the world. Yeah. The yeah. World Bank can tell you that. The IMS can tell you that. So, so what we're saying is that the central bank needs to regulate <clears> the banks properly <throat> so that they can't do the things that they are doing in front of their clients and foreign exchange markets and all of those things and create pressure for the country. So it's garbage about this thing about just the market. The market no great economists believe that the market alone can run things. <laughs> that is why John Maynard Keynes contended why you have government. Before you go, I'd like to answer. I, I'm not quite sure I understand. What is the Jamaican banks as high as what? High spread. spread. The difference between the different average deposit rate and the average lending rate. So that, They're that, telling us that the banks are going to pass on the reduction in the asset tax to the consumer. That, that is a joke. What? That is not going to happen. There is no indication that that will happen. The banking sector. The American banking sector is an oligopoly. Nobody is going to try to compete with the big banks, BNS, NCB, Sajikor, that dominates the country's sector. And no foreign bank is going to come here and engage in retail banks. The bank has been here for 40 years, and they don't, they don't deal with retail banking. They deal with corporate banking. So I just think nonsense. I just, that's just, they are just saying all of that because they don't want to impose any regulations on the bank because this government is directed by the people in the financial sector. That's all it's about. But there's no monetary institution in Jamaica that is even showing us what you are saying that can work. Well, that's it. That's the truth. That's the point. That's yeah. it. That's well, the point. That's that's a, so, and the philosophy and the ideology of the, of the mm -hmm. present government doesn't reflect. And in fact, governments of the past with different ideology have never done anything. Well, we want something to be done now because the banking sector is growing at the expense of the rest of the economy and it is impoverishing everybody. That's why. So something must be done. Even if it wasn't done before, it is now the time to do something about these things. We need to see policies to boost exports because that's the only sustainable way on which we are going to be able to go forward. We cannot depend on the remittances from the buying stimulus and all of those things in order to get through and our crude oil bill is going up. That's the biggest bill the country has, and that's the most unstable bill. And it's happening in that environment where crude oil prices are unstable, and all the big players expect oil to be close to 100 or over 100. What do you see in terms of food prices for Jamaicans going forward? Remember, we're talking to people in the diaspora who send money, send barrel, um, and we're talking to Jamaicans too, who, who uh, uh, have a go shop every morning. 
All the retailers that we talk to, Dermond, Grace, Kenny, it tells us set God, more price increases are coming because the price of crude is going up. That in itself, crude is the greatest driver of inflation. Crude in oil is all the greatest driver of food prices? All the great economists in the world now, they are talking about stagflation, high levels of inflation and economic stagnation because of the galloping food prices. Every great economist is talking about One of my that. concerns, Pernell Ralston, has been that while we concentrate uh, legitimately on the volatility of the oil price, the truth is that Russia, subject to sanctions, you know, and Ukraine, subject to war, these are two major producers of wheat. Yes? Yeah, wheat uh, and, and, <coughs> and, and, and grain, and generally. Corn. And, and corn. commodity prices are going to go. And right. what, what I saw is that a bushel of, of, of wheat over the last several months has moved from about $800 U.S. a bushel to now $1,300. That is 60% yes, well, increase. Now, yes. that is bound to reverberate into our economy. Am I right? Or are we insulated? And that's what produce flour and yes, flour, flour, dumpling, yes. bread. Flour, dumpling, bread. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we can't blame that on, on, on ourselves, but we have to no, but solve, we talking about about solve the problem. Yes. And acres of cassava and all of those things. Yes. Yeah. That's what we expect in the budget, not the kind of nonsense that we got yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> There's another couple of things, other things that, uh, again, we don't want to be, we want to be balanced. But uh, uh, this, this, this long piece that Nigel went into about how the government has given back taxes and the PNP hasn't done it. At the, <laughs> at the same time, just, just a few minutes before that, he's talking about needing for unity. So you put Michael and Eddie on the same banknote. Why you do that? Why you do that? If you if you if 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 you have to, uh, he's, uh, he's anticipating the opposition reply. No, but if you have to legitimate, uh, and uh, I would make the same criticism. If you have to legitimate what you're doing by pointing out how wicked and evil and inadequate the opposition is, are that you are say? Are that hold it, hold I don't think he had gone Let's that far. I don't think. All right, hold <laughs> on. He's simply saying, look, don't come. Try to. No, no. <laughs> I wish well. Around <laughs> it. Remember. The country, nobody in the world has ever experienced the COVID-19 pandemic before. So if you are in government, you have one government at a time. So if you are in government while there's COVID-19 and the people need help, the people will have to get help. And he's talking about $40 billion, 2% of GDP. Because of COVID-19, we got a billion U.S. dollars from the International Monetary Fund. That's 100 and 55 billion Jamaican dollars at today's exchange rate. So whatever administration is there would have to do that. So that's nonsense. That's unimportant at this particular point in time. Because what? you are here, one government at a time. Yes. And another thing he mentioned yesterday about the fiscal stability which enabled us to do what he's doing. He forgot that that foundation was laid by Dr. Peter Phillips. After the recklessness of the 2007, but he did, 2007 he did, experience. Yes, he did give some credit to Dr. Phillips, and that was uh, helpful to some sense of... Right. of, of so let's get it right. Okay, but then... <laughs> Yeah, uh, but I, I, fo I found it. He, he lapsed into tribalism, which, which, yeah, which is beneath him. It's really beneath him. Um, the next thing is now, how, how you see this new money? <laughs> is that new money? In the new, the new, new presentation, new presentation of money. Yeah. Well, Thank you. I tell you. Well, that, 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 um, that, for you because you're an economist. I'm a politician. I'm a political science student. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right. Well, we, are, we, are, we are in a political environment. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what you say. There are some people who are glad to hear that you, you, you revived Michael and share. I mean, Michael and Eddie, who were, as yeah. he has said, and you put them together. What does it really mean? They're, they're together, know where they are, anyhow. <laughs> you understand? But it's, it says something to Rani's side. Mostly the, the Christian part of Rani uh, is out of that fall this morning, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, tell me before you go, Ralston, was there something in the budget that you, as an economist, who is not a not a paid PRJLP presentation? No, something that you can say. Well, this is what this is something that I would do. I am proud that it has been done. Well, the truth is, 
I look at it from a macro standpoint. My personal thing would be that the minister should have recalibrated the budget, $129 per barrel, should have recalibrated the inflation target because they are not real. And I personally, at this particular point in time, may believe that Jamaica needs to run a fiscal deficit of about 1% to 2% of GDP. That's about $50 billion. That would make the budget equivalent to inflation. And there'll be more room to deal with things for agriculture. There'll be more room to deal with the impact of the gas prices on the population and the economy in general. So on that basis, I completely disagree with him. We're on different sides. And you, there'll be no room for taxation. Additional, if you do it that way. You wouldn't be no. seeking additional taxes right now? No, no, no. You would be owing more money? Yeah. Yeah, and what you're saying is that while we are paying down the money to satisfy the world, the the, the creditors, um, we are we we are we are hurting, and some of us are starving. Precisely. And by the way, that's another lie that you told yesterday. The debt is not going down. The debt is going up. In his debt management strategy, he told us that the debt increased by seventy-eight billion between December, March of thirty of last year and December. The total public debt was $2.21647 billion. 78.9 billion or 3.7% more than it was in March of 2021. U.S. dollars. And that was created by the Bank of Jamaica. Well, I guess that we, we are going to hear the opposite presentation. And, yeah, uh, and, and I'd like you to come back. I'd like you to come back. Many people are talking about the budget. They have read the budget. I'd like you to come back and and, and well, we can do that. Per per that. Yeah, but 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 let, let us, let, let, you know, Rasson, what we are trying to do on this program have been trying, and you're helping us uh, from time to time. And I know it's your objective too, and your program is to find a way that we can we can identify some common cause. Yes. Yeah. Because it don't make sense that we have you you put up something and um, so we, we have to wait on Julian now for, for for debunk that and but you know already that that half of the the the, the, the country and two thirds of the parliament can't agree with that and so you exactly. end you end up with a, a stalemate of 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 discourse and which <clears throat> is all about the country which is what, I'm glad that you answered me on that program yeah man which is where we, we have been for. Yes. Many, one many Jamaica. budgets. One Jamaica is this man. And uh, you reach a point where the storms of COVID, corruption, oil price, international conflict, exogenous con conditions are right. such that we, we know, uh, I, we, it, the, it's eating all of us, you know, not one of us getting a blight uh, fr from the taxi man or at the gas station or the, no. at the shop. Not no. one of us. So, 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 so come we deal with it now? Yeah, man. I, I really, re really hope that. So, so this bit, bit, bit of it, I'm the protagonist and you are the antagonist. But me no, me no into that. No more, no part of But that, but that's what PNP and JLP is about. But so, so we have a change. That, 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 that is why the line that Peter <laughs> Phillips. Yeah. yeah. But, but, so why do why what we want to bring so, a bright so, man like Nigel Clark into the line with that? With, with whether it's Peter Phillips or Pernell Charles Senior, it don't matter. It's the right line. Look here. Come and look on the system. Change the thing because what we're doing is 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 using the thing for the divide of ourselves. Fancy me, fancy me, sir, having to agree with with with, with not not totally, but with, with with the critique that somebody like Wilmot Perkins. It, deceased now, he was saying, when he said we use politics to draw down ourselves rather yeah. than to, to, to lift up ourselves. Mm -hmm. Two black men, yes, Th three generations out of slavery, yes, and, 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 and facing the same problems in the world, in the history, looking forward, same ambition, same picnic, want a picnic come, come good, and we are fight about what we do. And <clears throat> and I defend big banks and and their predations. Uh, yeah. What a <laughs> do you know? Hey, I, okay, hey, Richie, I can cost for this station. I hear a man, a a man just <laughs> asked me a print of this half the year. <laughs> 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 I'm not half the year, but I'm listening to these two socialists. <laughs> no, 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 no socialists, you know. You see us? Why does it be the reality? Rasen is a super what? <laughs> <laughs> Let him describe himself. <clears throat> but so. But anyhow, the facts are, facts mm. are that we, we, we are not 
in any level playing field well, when it comes to our generation. When it, and and when, it, when you look at what has happened to us over the last two years, mm. it could be worse. It could be, but it, it could be better too. Um, Rats on a final word, people listening to you want a, 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 a thought. We're going into the, 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 the end of the first quarter of 2022. Um, if, if I was looking at my prospects in Jamaica going forward for this year, what, what, what would Ralph and Hammond have to tell me about it? Well, I'm saying to you that the, 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 the price increases are going to continue. The increase in the cost of living, they are going to continue. So what we're going to see is a kind of stagnating environment, high levels of inflation, slow growth, more poverty, and more disorder. And Ralph and Housewife nightmare. We, we, we're going to have a problem if the, if the fuel continues to go. We're going to have a problem if the world is not settled. Right. And, and where we are heading for is that what the United States is doing towards Russia and is inviting other European countries to join in. We can't predict what is going to happen over the next two months. Right. What we know is that things are going to be very unstable in terms of oil and other commodity <coughs> prices. And this is going to be a long-term environment. So this is this time it is Russia. One year and Xi Jinping just served notice on Washington that they must not try to establish a NATO in Asia or interfere in their business with Taiwan because they intend to do the same thing. Oi, so Colonel, you said that, you know. Yeah. environment between rival superpowers. What, what Ralston is pointing out is that the Chinese this morning yes. have indicated to NATO, yes. the U.S., yes. that they mustn't try and establish anything like that because they intend to do the sim same thing mm -hmm. with Taiwan yes, as, as Russia is doing with Ukraine. I know that, I know yeah. that. And, but and, that is going to have... So that is going to have a war because well, the United States is going to now say so, they are involved because they are sitting there for that. So cockroach no business in fall fight. No, but, 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 well, well, this is it. So let me be let me be very specific. You know, yeah, you, you forget that there are two types of cockroach. <laughs> you have to tell me about a that. A big one and a little another one. time. <laughs> but 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 Mr. Hammond, the thing is this: I was looking for a very substantial increase. Um, in, in the in the budget for the Ministry of Agriculture. That's my point. And we have a very energetic minister yeah, who is rearing to go. Yeah. So we wanted to see <clears throat> more support for him, agriculture, food security. Put, give him, give him and the farmers. We from CARICOM talking about the opportunities <clears throat> yes. that are available between CARICOM countries. $9 billion in food imports apart from Jamaica. Jamaica is a billion, so it's $10 billion. So there's a capacity we saw. The Minister of Agriculture on television with the Minister of Agriculture from Barbados last night. Have to hear this. Food. Yes. Yeah. So we expected a reallocation of the budget to more for education, <clears throat> more for agriculture, more for energy security. Yeah. That's what we expected. That's Let's kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Thanks so much. To you. Have to go. Um, <laughs> yes, well, we're we grateful to you. To you uh, Much more on that. Yes. Pernod is going to fuel up himself. Yes, yes, I'm going to. We want to thank Russ and Hammond, financial analyst and economist, for his commentary on the budget. We offer our thoughts to you this morning, to members of the diaspora, members of the Jamaican public on the early rise. Uh, the pro this program will not be continuing under its present form. We're going to morph into podcasts, which the, the bridge can use on its various platforms because of the change in daylight savings time. So we thank especially Lafayne Wiz, w w Wigan, uh, Richie Rainford, Audley, Romy, and all those, as well as our listeners and our correspondents who make the early rise possible. We'll continue in, it, in the other form with equal zest. Mr. Charles, thank yes, you for your company. Yes, yes, yes. And you're on today, right? Yes, please come back for the, oh, the, the, oh. For the public eye. Yes, Philip Paulwell is our guest, yes, among others. So stay tuned to The Bridge. Richard B's time. <laughs>